What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video, another video on the BMW today. Now, I can't really explain what I'm going to be doing. It's going to be better if I actually show you what I'm going to be doing, but it's going to involve me doing some painting and some repairing. Now, I just want to say I am not the greatest painter. Uh, I never have been really. It's not really something that I particularly enjoy. I more prefer the uh, mechanical side of things. Um, but there are little jobs that need doing on this car. It's a 2008 BMW E60. Um, it's by no means perfect, but the job that I want to get done today is uh, it's just a little one. So let's get outside, let's take a look, and then let's see what we're working with. Okay then, so it is in fact the wing mirror and as you can see it's quite badly damaged now i actually bought it, the car like this uh, as you can see uh, not only is the uh, mirror cap damaged it's quite badly scraped um, but also this part here is damaged as well it's had a few chunks taken out of it now if this was just a regular wing mirror, um, you know, nothing fancy about it, I'd probably just buy another wing mirror complete and swap the whole mirror out. But because this is a power fold mirror, because it has the um, gloss black surround, because it has uh, auto dimming and because it has the uh, LEDs underneath, not only is it very rare, you know, there's not many of these knocking around in this particular color. Um, it's also very expensive as well, like just for this gloss black um, surround piece, you're looking at over a hundred pound. So if I can repair this for a fraction of the cost, then we will be winning. But the only thing is, um, I'm obviously going to be painting this a gloss black, um, but it's just going to be trying to match um, the paint to the rest of the gloss black trim on the rest of the mirror now i could go ahead and remove the entire mirror you know from the car but i think what i'm actually going to do to save all that hassle save you know removing the electrical connectors and whatever else is just pop the back of the mirror cap off um, I think I should be able to get something in there just to prise it off. It should be hiding me on some clips. And then I'm guessing this um, gloss black ring should be held in by some clips as well. Okay then, so we have a collection of some uh, flat bladed screwdrivers, all different sizes. Then we have one of these uh, trim removal tools. And I think what I'm going to do is just try and get behind the mirror cap like this and uh, then slowly work my way around and prise it off. But like I said, you've got to be careful. This thing is only plastic and uh, I'm guessing it can break fairly easily. I hope that wasn't something that's just broke. Okay, so with the mirror cap removed, uh, you can kind of see how it's clipped in. So it's held in by these uh, three, sorry, four main clips. Um, and now that's removed, we can obviously move on to the uh, gloss uh, black um, surround. And this looks like a little bit more work involved. There's a lot more clips holding this in place all the way around. And obviously, because it goes underneath the uh, mirror arm as well, it's going to be quite difficult to get down there, I'm guessing so. But still the same principle. Got to get a screwdriver in, in, under them and uh, prise it off. Okay, so we managed to get it off, finally. Obviously, we had to uh, unplug the um, puddle light on the bottom, uh, and we actually broke one clip as well, which is this one here. Clips in around the back there. It shouldn't be a problem, to be honest. There's you know, plenty more clips holding this thing in place. Um, so let's take this thing apart and get it cleaned up. <laughs> 
Okay then, so now we have the two parts. So obviously we have the uh, mirror cap. This needs to be repainted in space gray, same color as the car. And obviously this needs to be repainted in a gloss black. Now, to be honest, I don't think this is actually originally painted. I think it's just a, um, just a shiny plastic finish. Um, so whether or not if, you know, if I go ahead and paint this gloss black, whether or not it's going to um, match the rest of the mirror, you know, we're not going to know until we do it. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and um, paint it in gloss black. Obviously, if it looks terrible, um, I can always go ahead and just, you know, replace this part out again in the future. Um, but we're going to try anyway. Um, if this doesn't go to plan, then obviously we'll still... Um, get this part repaired and, uh, and then we'll look at something later on down the line with this um, But first thing we need to do is take this puddle light out, which I'm sure it just pushes out Yep, there we go That's that removed put that to one side and then we just need to get this thing um, cleaned up and then uh, get it prepped ready for painting Just gonna first thing I'm gonna do is just cover these in the greaser just to try and get all that dirt off. Okay then, so I've gave these uh, a good clean and next thing I'm gonna do is attack them with some sandpaper. This is some pretty cool stuff, some 120 grit. And uh, obviously we have some quite deep chunks out of this uh, mirror surround so we need to try and get this as flush as possible um, before even attempting to uh, to apply any paint to this um, so I think that's what I'm going to concentrate on first is getting this flush and then obviously we will continue and scuff the rest of it up okay then so we have kind of got this thing to a level that I'm happy with now as you can see the dents are gone this is now pretty much flush um, and I actually thought for a minute you know if this is a solid black plastic that instead of painting this thing you know I could have potentially just uh, sanded it down and um, and then just like polished it back but as you can see um, the primer underneath there um, is obviously showing through so we know that this is a, um, a painted part now and um, yeah polishing it just isn't going to work so we are going to proceed and um, scuff the rest of this thing up and then get it ready for painting um, but before we go ahead and paint this we'll do the same with the uh, mirror cap as well now these scratches aren't too deep you can feel them but um, it's not too deep so they should come out quite nicely to be honest Okay then, so I've got the mirror cap and the mirror surround kind of to a level that I want them to be. They're all completely scuffed up now. I'm just going to hit them with some uh, primer. Obviously any uh, imperfections will show as soon as I um, spray this on. So if there is any still, we can obviously give them um, another sand. Now in between layers of the primer, you should obviously sand anyway because it's not going to give a um, a flat, completely flat finish. So yeah, I'm just going to hit them with one um, coat of this and then see where we're at. Okay then, so here is what we're looking like after one coat of primer. No real uh, imperfections in there, so I don't think I'm going to attempt to take any more off. Um, coverage looks pretty good. I'm probably going to give these uh, another coat um, and then I'll sand them back just a little bit um, before applying the first base layer of paint. Okay then, so uh, these have actually been left to dry for uh, an hour or so and 
don't know how well you can see but there is actually still some uh, scratches from the sanding process in there so I think what I'm going to do is give these a light sand and then give them one uh, one more good coat with the primer okay then so here is how they are both looking I'm pretty pleased with the finish so far they are um, pretty smooth I think anything else any other kind of imperfections now um, should be corrected with the layers of paint they're about to apply so this is the uh, outer ring which is to be painted gloss black and this is what the mirror cap itself looks like which is to be painted uh, space grey so which should I paint first I think I'm gonna go ahead and paint this gloss black first Okay then, so just gave the outer ring a nice light coat. This is how it's looking. And uh, to be honest, I don't think the color match with the gloss black on this and the gloss black on the car is a million miles away. So this could turn out to be pretty successful, but obviously still a long way to go. Probably gonna do two or three coats on this and then see how we're looking then and now i'm going to spray the mirror cap itself with the space gray metallic paint and here is how the mirror cap is looking after one coat of the space gray doesn't look too bad as long as it matches the uh, as long as it matches the rest of the car I'll be happy okay then so here is how we are looking and this is after three coats of paint I believe um, it's covered quite nicely that is the um, wing mirror uh, surround that is with the gloss black coverage um, obviously you can see it's not actually that shiny at the moment it's got a little bit of a shine but it's nowhere near um, what the original was but obviously we're still yet to apply some lacquer so that is what the um that's what the wing mirror surround looks like and this is what the wing mirror cap itself looks like it's came up quite nice to be honest um obviously we're still yet to compare it to the rest of the car to make sure it matches um but yeah that's definitely came up quite nice i think i am done with regards to uh, painting now i think all that's left to do is apply a couple of layers of lacquer and then think what i'm going to do is let it dry overnight Okay then, so after being left to dry overnight, this is pretty much the finished product. They are completely dry now. This is the gloss black surround. And yeah, as you can see, it's not too bad. This is the mirror cap itself. This has turned out better than the surround in my opinion. Now overall, they are both a little bit orangey peely. You know, like I said, I'm not the greatest at painting. It's not one of those things that I enjoy, um, but it is a bit orangey peely. Uh, I don't know if you can see in the right light, um, but I think most of that could be corrected with a light sand and a good polish. 
and um, when I get round to that I'll uh, you know I'll give it a go but yeah not the best job but obviously it's it's definitely better than it was before there's no signs that this has been repaired you know you can't see any marks from where it was damaged before and the exact same on here as well obviously we had them them lines going across here no signs of them on here now and now it's just going to be a case of reinstalling it back on the car which means reinstalling the LED puddle light back into the wing mirror surround so that should just pop in place there we go that's that in and then we need to pop this back on And then this mirror cap should just go on. And here we go then. This is the wing mirror all put back in place. All the uh, clips went in nicely. As you can see, this is a very good colour match to the rest of the car. And uh, the gloss black surround isn't too bad. You know, it's not too far away from that, but um, you know, with a light sand and a polish, I think we could get this up re really nice, and it make you know make it spot on. But it definitely looks a lot better than it, what it was. You know, as we remember before, there was like huge chunks out of this, and then there was you know them deep scratches in the side. I'll probably try and put a before up. Um, now so you can see what it was like um, but yeah this is it now looks a lot better pleased with that okay then so that is the refurbishment of the wing mirror um, pretty much done for now like i said i am probably going to try and get like some 1000 or 2000 grit sandpaper just give the gloss black surround uh, a good little sand and then um, try and polish it uh, i need to get some polish as well and uh and then i think that will that will come up a lot nicer and hopefully match the rest of the um re you know match the rest of the gloss black um parts of the mirror nicely uh, but yeah overall like i said pretty happy with the results it looks a lot better than it did you know that was one of the things that was kind of bugging me um, along with a whole bunch of other things that um i will get on to a, a later stage but it's another thing ticked off the list it's another thing done so yeah, we're well on our way to um, to getting this car um, to where I want it to be. But um, yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this video. I know it's been a little bit different. Uh, like I said, you know, I'm not really um, a professional uh, when it comes to painting. I'm, I'm pretty terrible at it. At it. And um, yeah, I, I don't really enjoy it to be honest. It's one of them kind of boring jobs. It, it's good when you see the end result. But yeah, it's kind of boring doing it. It's just, you know, a lot of um prepping a lot of waiting around and waiting for coats of paint to dry but but yeah i'm I'm really one of them people that decide to get stuck in to be honest i don't really like waiting around for things to happen um but yeah i, I hope i hope this video has been somewhat helpful in a way i hope you have enjoyed it please give it a like leave a comment down below subscribe if you have not already done so because like i said there's still so many more videos to come on this bmw um, so yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace!